channel, Nikki Whispers ASMR. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. And don't forget, get in soon. You are wonderful, beautiful, amazing, and fabulous. some triggers on the mic and um, I thought um, my little trigger boxes, trigger pins might have some good triggers. And then what's that? I'll show you. I have big bins of triggers. Let's see. Trigger toys. This new, well, new to me, like a little box. And over here I have a giant pin. Get into it's too big for me to move, but it's huge. And it has tons and tons of triggers. I took a shower earlier, kittens, and I curled my hair. And, um, gonna make a video I just was really tired. I've been really tired lately, kittens. I don't really know which trigger I'm gonna start with, but I have tons and tons of triggers. I can pull out lots of them. I don't really know which ones to do. Um, and I don't really do soft spoken on my channel. Um, when Sabrina does it on Sabrina's World, it's really, really relaxing. It's one of my favorite triggers on her channel, but um, I don't know if I'm good, good at it. So y'all let me know if y'all like my soft spoken voice too. Because I like soft spoken whisper voice. My kittens, the first thing I'm going to do is going to open up this bin that has a bunch of other triggers in it, including globbles. I love, a lot of y'all like globbles. Hold on. I thought I would do some globbles.
in my night clothes kittens because after this I'm going to bed. I get off early tomorrow for work to go to the doctor. I'm happy about that. Okay, kittens, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with again because I kind of got upset <clears throat> because I was sitting there looking at stuff like on Amazon and a lot of stuff can be kind of expensive I mean it's not really expensive on Amazon but it's like I see that same stuff on Amazon on Timu for like way less and I'm just like I get I was getting said, Jeremy, look, <laughs> I told him, look, um, there's nothing wrong with Timu, I mean, or whatever, like, however you could pronounce it, Timu, I said, there's nothing wrong with that website, because, like, there's so many people that order from it, and they're fine, I mean, it's just kind of dumb, I said, a little bit, for me to said the reason why they're able to sell their stuff so cheap is that they cut out the middleman I guess like it's imported from China guys everything is like made there already they don't have a middleman I don't believe like you know what I mean so their stuff is already made there I mean, and um, it's like I just buy little things like stationery um, some nails you know like the little nails that you press on um, things like this, like globules and Hello Kitty stuff, Sanrio. It's like fidget toys for our channel. And I was like, why can't I buy my little fidget toys from there? I said, they're so much more expensive on Amazon than they are from, um, Timu. It doesn't make any sense. He got a little bit, like, upset with me, but I think he gave in, so. I told him I really want to buy something from Timu. 
I said it doesn't make any sense. I said for you to, you know, to get upset with me if I should order from there. And kittens, we don't have separate accounts. We have one bank account together, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, I wouldn't feel married if we had two separate accounts. That's just me, though. Um, but sometimes the problem with that is that <clears throat> you know, he doesn't want me to use our accounts for this or that. I mean, for Timos, he's never, he's never told me anything about any place, any like Shein or what is it, Shein Shine, um, other Wish and stuff. But Timu, he did not let me buying anything from there. So, I was like, I just got upset. Because, um, I was just like, it makes no sense to do that. Like, to buy it for more on Amazon. When it's like 69 cents versus like $5.99 or $6.99 on Amazon is ridiculous. I just made a new website with another, um, with my, um, Mickey Whispers, um, Gmail account, and, uh, gave me 30%. So right now I think I have everything for $58 or something like that. I have, like, 23 items in there. And it says the savings on it is, like, 219 or $239. Which I believe, because if I were to buy it, all that stuff, like, um, separately off of Amazon, it would be a lot more. a kitten gave to me. Oh. There's like a little um bow that goes on this. cameras but I don't know how to set it to where it'll um uh, film on that mode I don't know how to change it so I gotta look I have to give it to my husband to look at it because it said it wouldn't be able to film on that mode so I had to change it to HD but um
my weight, kittens. My weight. My weight makes me very tired. I get exhausted utterly. And just the thought of having to like do simple acts of like grabbing my camera and taking it into the living room and grabbing my i um, grabbing my phone or not phone my microphone and bringing it into the transferring everything over there was just just a little bit of stuff um and my bins are just just maybe too tired just th thinking about it and i'm not lazy kittens i'm like general genuinely exhausted after doing like simple tasks i'm not out of breath i'm exhausted like tired my body is worn out but um I'm going to the doctor tomorrow to have my um everything checked out because um you know it's not good to be that exhausted. But I know what it is. I know it's my weight. By the way, if he's watching Dakota and friends ASMR Dakota, you're doing great. Right now, I've been gaining a lot of inspiration from Dakota, but even before Dakota, I was getting inspiration from a man behind a camera. Um, he's an elderly man that does, well, not he's not elderly, he's like, he's just this older man that does um, ASMR. <laughs> and if you haven't heard of him, he has a lot of subscribers. I'm sure you've heard of him. Um, I'll put his link in the description to one of his videos that I love. He does eating videos, but um, right now, what I really love about him now is that he does keto eating videos where he's on the keto diet and it's like so relaxing and so inspirational. And you can really see that he's not lost weight in his face especially because he doesn't really show his body, you know, on videos, he sits a lot. But, um, people eat healthy even though he was like upset the other day because in one of his videos because he said that people weren't watching his videos anymore ever since he started eating healthier and I said unfortunately that's what happens sometimes I told him in a, in a um, comment I said unfortunately people like a lot of people like to watch a person eat bad food like junk food I said because Sometimes those people are on a diet. Sometimes those people um, have eating disorders and stuff like that that prevent them from eating regular foods, junk foods or regular foods. Sometimes they're diabetic or whatever, whatever the case may be, they're on a diet. And watching somebody eat unhealthy food is very satisfying. It's like you are, are getting a little bit of a taste of, you can just imagine the taste of what it tastes like of, that, of somebody else eating that food but you're not indulging in it yourself so, I said, but once you start eating healthy foods I said, no, a lot of people don't want to eat a healthy food even though I do, I love salads and watermelon and fruits and vegetables and stuff and healthy things be real careful um it's, it's hard everything is hard for me kids that's why i have to, to go to a weight loss doctor because um i have to have help i have to be put on something to help me because my i've tried you know, it's i've yo-yo dieted it in the past and i've never been able to completely um take off my weight i've always gained it back and I've lost a lot, and then I've gained it, so I need help. This is the biggest I've ever been, kittens. So. so yeah, kittens, I need to lose the weight. And I'm feeling very hopeful because I'm going to be seeing a weight loss doctor on March 11th, March 14th. I think it will. 
Sorry, this is not very ASMR ish, kiddos. I mean, I'm trying to make it as ASMR as I can, but um, I wanted to update you on that, you know. Um, it's hard for me to walk a long way or to do certain things, kiddos, because I'm too overweight and it hurts. Like, I start to feel um, my weight. grocery shopping especially when we're like grocery shopping it can be really a, a challenge because after a while I started getting really really tired but I, I don't want to get in one of those buggies yet because it's like I don't ever want to get in one of the buggies and I'm not saying that I'm not trying to, to make fun of people that have to get into one of those um, electric carts but it's like I know I know that I need the exercise in the stores. things like that just so that way um out to me on letters and um, certain things and I'm going to do the keto diet and the carnivore I'm gonna try it but it's kind of hard for me because I'm not really that much of a meat person I like vegetables a lot so it's kind of like meat is okay in my diet but I don't really care I can like do without meat not a lot of meat I don't like like a lot of meat I like more fish. That's why the Mediterranean diet, I always liked that diet because it's fish based. You know what I mean? Like they have the fish is most the um, main thing, but fish and vegetables and fruits and stuff. Um, but I really do like the Mediterranean diet. I was thinking about doing the Mediterranean diet. Ever since, like, ever since, I didn't ever used to feel this way, kids. Like, I used, to, I've been, I've been overweight, right? But I've been overweight since 
I was 24, like 25, 26, I started gaining weight. And this is my heaviest I've ever been. I weigh about 320 pounds. Last I weighed myself, I was 317. That was about two weeks ago. But I know, I know I probably weigh 320 now. But, um, I'm thinking that, um, hopefully this will go be well. scares me because and this is something I want to talk to my doctor it scares me kids because of the way I feel most of the time I feel so tired like exhausted I don't know if it's because you know I have a fatty liver and you know some some of you might say well it's your fault you know like some some people that can be me and cruel that watch my videos new ones you know stuff understanding but you know yeah I, I I caused this to myself I I caused myself to be this way by not taking control of my eating habits and you know I'm allow, just allowing myself to eat whatever and drink whatever you know overindulgence and not I, I did it until I couldn't hardly couldn't hardly exercise anymore and that's what's happened is that um, I cannot, I don't have a lot of stamina anymore, and it's weird, kittens, because I remember having stamina, not but, like, in 20, 2017, when I started losing my weight, I had tons of stamina, kittens, like, for real, like, I went to the gym with my friend, and we would work out hard, and I was like, my back wasn't hurting me, um, I was just overweight, and I was fine, you know, I mean, I felt good, I felt overweight, and, but I mean, I, I could do stuff, it wasn't until I had my surgery, it was like night and day, it was kind of like black and white, it was like weird, um, one minute, I'm, I have energy, in the minute that they worked on me, the, the minute that I came out of surgery, I was exhausted, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if something happened in the surgery where it like affected me, some kind of medication, and it ruined something in my inside of me. But from that point on, back in 2018, I think I have had horrible um, um, exhaustion and tiredness, and recently. For the past three weeks, I've been, like, really sleepy. Like, um, um, like, I'll get out of work, or I'll wake up in the morning rested. But I don't feel rested at all. I feel tired. And I'll go to work, and I'll start falling asleep a little bit. But I'm not really sleeping. I just have my eyes closed. But that's not like me to do that. Like, to fall asleep at work. Or to fall asleep while I'm driving. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes when I'm driving... And I don't mean to scare you guys, and I've not told anybody this, but sometimes when I'm driving, I close my eyes a little bit, just for a second, because it, it's like a very um, powerful force for me to do that, and it's weird, kid, and it's so weird, but it hits me on the weekends especially, and after work, like, on the weekends, um, when I'm with my family or my husband, um, like my mom or my visiting my mom or we're out and stuff. I mean, I'll just start getting so tired after an hour of just going out. And I'm like, why do I feel this way? I, you know, I used to get hurt, feel it hurt with my back and stuff, but not tired like that. But I get sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Like I just want to sleep. Like narcolepsy almost. It's weird, kittens.
again, I'm not doing things right either. I'm not taking my medicines like I should. A lot of it has to do with being scared to take, um, having phobia of taking, um, uh, medications. I, um, I joke, I, I joked one time on a very large horse type bill, like a very large bill, um, when I was a teenager and my dad had to give me the Heimlich and it shot out. It was crazy. If he hadn't noticed me joking, I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. If he hadn't noticed, um that I had taken that pill and that I was choking on it, I would have died. <laughs> but, um, I would have passed out. Um, but after that, <clears throat> and it was like one of those, it was a diet pill, like if hydroxycut or something like that, it was something like that, I don't remember, but it was a, a large, very large diet pill. And, um, after that I just got very scared of taking medications. So, hard for me to take medications. Don't come at me. I sometimes I need to talk to you guys, and I like for y'all to give me um, encouragement and your thoughts on how I, what I'm talking about. You know, and it encourages me and helps me in the right direction most of the time. So, um, it's just that I get so scared, kids, with the way I feel. I feel better now. Now it's 11, I'm sure. But, um, I just, uh, I don't know, kids. I just, after I, that surgery, it's like I changed. Hormonally inside. Taking showers is so hard for me. But I do it, of course, I do it. Showers is so hard, kiddos. I'm being vulnerable here talking to you about this stuff. Taking showers can be very, very, um, can be very, um, challenging for me. I'm not saying that I'm almost to the point where somebody has to bathe me. It's not like that at all. It's just pain. The pain that I feel from taking showers is very hard. And, um, I don't like taking baths a lot. Um, I like taking baths in our other apartment, because, in our apartment, because we lived at the apartment because we had um, a giant um, garden tub, but this uh, this house does not have garden tubs. Um, it's just a regular bath. Um, I, I have a bathtub. My husband has. We have a walk-in, standing. shower and then a tub connected. It's pretty nice, but I just never, I think my husband's taken a bath in that. But it's hard for me to get up after laying down, kids. That's what the problem is. Once I'm laying down in the shower, uh, it's very hard for me to get up. And I'm afraid to hurt myself when, I, when I'm getting up. <laughs> It 
use the Sony um, ZV-1. things that were added to it and it wasn't it was like burst speed or something like that and I was like I'm not planning on taking pictures with this with this camera I plan on doing more vlogging and digital content you know and um, making my videos um, I didn't need that for a hundred more dollars so I got this at Best Buy. Actually, kids, I spent nine hundred dollars on this thing, or almost a thousand. And what happened was, I just could not fathom myself spending that much money um, on a camera um, right now. So what I did was, I researched. I came home. I had been researching the camera to see if I could find one cheaper, and uh, I ended up finding. Um, one on eBay for four ninety nine, but I was skeptical about eBay because the reason why I was worried about eBay buying from eBay is because I mean it said that it was a um, I think the person had ninety six ninety seven point nine percent good ratings, and he had like three thousand. Um, He was like, you should just get that camera. Um, because you use it all the time. You use the camera all the time for your videos and stuff. And I was like, you're right. And my, my revenue's been doing pretty good. So I thought, you know what? The revenue's going in the bank and from the YouTube. And I'll just use some of that. So I didn't feel so bad. But at the same time, Guinness, it was like, that's a lot of money on just one. saying that that's good to have but I just don't see myself using a tripod but that you know does everything I can do on the camera I don't see myself using it so what I did was um, I just took back the bundle that was the only two things it was just that I was gonna get the one that had the microphone for the camera but I was like I have too many mics as it is one cannot have too many mics kittens when they're doing ASMR actually I take that back at the same time, I didn't want to spend the extra 49 or whatever, $50, 60, I think it was $60 on that little mic when I have, when I'm going to be using these mics. So I thought I would just get that microphone later, you know, if I come across a good deal for it. But get it, so. So what I did was that I looked on Best Buy. And I found open box and I was like what's wrong with demos you know what I mean 
What's wrong with the demos? There's nothing wrong with the demos. That's what I did. I bought an open box that was at, like, new condition. So I just took it back, and it was, like, it knocked off, like, $400. So I was like, that is more of a deal on the camera. So I took back the bundle that I had gotten, which was just two things, just the camera and the tripod. And I, the tripod was only, like, $64, so the camera itself was like 895 and then, then that tripod, and then, no, it was like 795 mm -hmm. and then the tripod, and then the, di the Bluetooth tripod, and then um, a warranty and everything, because I get the warranty, like 60 something dollars, um, it came out to almost a thousand dollars. $340 on it. So that's $340 that was back in my bank. And I got everything for like $600 including with the warranty. So I was pleased with that. And it probably would have been fine for me to buy it on eBay for $499 and get the warranty. Probably wouldn't have hurt. But um, I just didn't want to do it. I was like, nah, I better just get, um, I was like, no, I better, I better just go ahead and get the, um, the one from, from Best Buy. and finally said, no, we're not taking that back now. That was a good deal on that camera. He goes, you finally found a good deal. He said, so, you're not taking it back. He goes, you're keeping it. He goes, you use it. It's um, a very wise investment for your for your videos. So He goes, you have fun with it. It's your little hobby. So, just keep your camera. If it wasn't for my husband, I would I would have taken it back. <laughs> Cause I'm like that kid. I'm just like so funny. I could have. I'm one of those people that go into stores and like put put things in my cart, and then at the very end of the shopping trip, like I look at the line, I'm like, oh, it's so long, or I'm like, do I really need all this stuff? And I just leave it there. I know I'm like a I'm like a worker's that works at those stores like a retail worst nightmare because I'll, I'll leave my basket like that but I'm like I'm sorry guys um, I don't have a lot of stuff usually in my baskets anyway but um, I'm that kind of person that does that I'll leave like I make I make decisions like I'll, I'll be I'll be wanting to buy something or about a basket baskets of little things in my basket and then I'm just like, eh. And I'll leave it. do everything manually on this thing. But, um, I had 
way more stuff getting like in these bins, but it's like it's like really late now. And I'm not actually I'm not sleepy anymore. But um I know I should go to sleep. Which is really interesting because I was really sleepy before this video. So sometimes I wonder. Thursday. Tomorrow I see my regular PCP and I'm going to ask her why I'm feeling like this and if there's a way for them to do blood work to see what it is. That's probably blood sugar kittens, but I'm thinking, doesn't blood sugar, like, doesn't that just make you feel like lightheaded? I don't feel lightheaded. I feel sleepy. Even though my mom's like, you probably have. Um, my mom likes to diagnose me with that. She's like, I think it's fibromyalgia. And I'm like, I don't think it's fibromyalgia, mom. Like that, I really don't think it's fibromyalgia. I, I remember my husband's aunt has fibromyalgia. And, um, I have like two of these in my, um, Yeah, kittens, like, when I'm just back to, a little bit back to taking showers, it's, like, really challenging because when I'm, like, bending down to, like, shave, kittens is so hard. It's, like, bending my back is so excruciating. I just want to pass out sometimes. And um, I'm always afraid to fall. I always have to have a mat, some kind of, like, anti-slip mat or anti-skid mat in the mat in the shower because um, I'm always afraid to fall in the shower. something to shave like I can't it's very hard for me to bend down to do it I can I can do it but it hurts so I have to put my my leg up on something so my bathtub I don't take showers in the standing shower my husband does that's in our room and our bedroom is, a, is the, the shower like the bathroom for the shower of that shower regular bath so that way I could put my foot on the bathtub rim and shave like that because um, it's just way too hard it's too hard if I do it I'll think the other way
See how nice and crisp it is? It's like so crisp. I love that. Like, it looks great. The camera quality. But I think the ISO, the ISO could be bright, lowered to a different, um, to a much lower level. So that way it's not so bright. Because it is a little bright. Don't say things like this is ASMR and you're like ruining it while you're um, talking and stuff like that because you know, first of all, it's my channel, I do the kind of ASMR that I like on this channel, channel as well. You know, what I mean, like, I have to be able to do what I like, um, and what I, what I, um. be able to do ASMR that I like as well so because if I don't like if I don't like what I'm doing I won't do it I don't want to do it so um, and what I mean by that is that I know that this is an ASMR channel and I, you know I'm kind of like talking and, and uh, ruining the sounds maybe a little bit thing about me kids though is that you know I know I'm not an ugly person I'm not I'm not an ugly person I'm not conceited either but it's good to have self esteem so when people get on here and are mean to me and like oh my god you're so fat I'm like I am yeah I have fat but I'm not ugly and if I lose weight you know I know what I look like <laughs> so it's like I'm not conceited, don't get me wrong, but you have to have, you have to love yourself, kiddos, and for a long time, I guess I haven't loved myself enough to lose weight, but I want to, you know, to get back to loving myself enough to do that, but that's the one good thing about me is that at least I don't, at least I don't look in the mirror and say, goodness gracious, you are so ugly. My hair. I think I. I think I have a pretty face. And um, if I lost weight, it would be it would be prettier. But um, um, that's good for me, I guess. And I'm not just saying that, kids, to be like. Cause I'm not trying to be conceited. I mean, I would hope that you would feel that same way about yourself too. You know, that's why I always try to tell you that you look amazing, beautiful, wonderful. And fabulous, you know, to you, because I want you to know that that's what you, that's true, you do. You look beautiful and amazing and wonderful, and you're a wonderful person, and I want you to know it, you know, and, and I want you to tell yourself that, you know, I am beautiful, I am wonderful, I am amazing, and I am fabulous. So, I don't just say that, just to say it, say it because I mean it. I just, you know, I just don't, I'm tired of feeling so, I'm tired of feeling tired, you know, and over, and uh, not a 
able to do stuff that I love to do, whether that be hiking or, you know, spending time out the outdoors, you know, walking, um, getting fresh air outside, you know, not just sitting, but walking with friends and stuff. Guys, I went to the carnival the other day, like two weeks ago, week, two weeks ago. Um, oh, well, let me see, last Friday, not this past Friday, the last one. And guys, it was terrible. I thought I was going to have a really good time, but there was nowhere to sit. There was like nowhere to sit down. There was no um, benches or nothing. I don't know why they did that. I was like, is this place like, do they not like, like disabled people or, and, um, I was like, there's nowhere to sit down and, um, it was terrible and I got tired so fast and we were with my husband's cousin and friends and his workers, he owns his own business and we had been invited by his cousin for a VIP, like a dinner thing for, um, a sponsorship for the, his cousin's company and it was like free uh, barbecue but guys it was so weird because we were like we were there early me and my husband and then like we were walking around and I was like so where's your cousin and he was like he's running a little late and I was like okay so I didn't think I thought you know we'll sit down and we'll wait for a little while walk around we'll sit down and wait you know I have to have somewhere to sit for a little bit to rest my back. It's more my back than anything, kittens. And, well, kittens, it's like there was nowhere to sit at all, ever, at nowhere. Like, it was so weird. In the past, I've been to the carnival, and there's been places to sit. Like, it's so weird. It's like they, they didn't have nowhere to sit for, like, disabled people. Or just people, you know, like, for people to sit. Benches. And, um, I was like, what in the world? And, um, finally my husband's cousin comes. I was getting so tired because for, like, 30, 40 minutes we were, like, walking aimlessly around. And my husband bought a 50, I think it was a $60, um, band, armband for, like, you know, to, to get funnel cakes and stuff. And corn dogs, hot dogs, or whatever we wanted to get. What is it? Corn dogs? Later on, you know, like, you know, all over there because... Um, I don't really, I like barbecue, but I didn't know if I was going to like that barbecue. So I was like, maybe I'll just get, wait for a, a corn dog and a funnel cake. But kittens, it's like, we were walking and walking and walking. And finally his cousin comes and there was really nowhere to sit. Like, I, when his cousin came, we were like leaning on this, um, like a, like a, these tables that were these long tables they had these long tables out and um it was like they were um we were just leaning on them there was no seats and finally we went to go eat the barbecue there was tables where we had to find a spot my husband found a spot to sit because there was a bunch of other people from other companies that were being sponsored and guys, it's like, after, I was thinking, oh good, now we get to sit and watch people dance and stuff. Nope. They like asked us to move so that way they could put the tables and chairs away. I was like, what's going on? So that way people would stand and drink their drinks and like mingle their standing. I was like, oh my God. So I found a seat and I was just sitting there. My husband was looking for me and he was like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm just sitting here because I'm tired. I said, my back is killing me. So, kittens, we ended up, like, going, we, I ended up walking with them, because he was like, come on, let's go walking around, and I wasn't keeping up, I was, like, very, very tired, and I told my husband, I said, I don't know what to do, after about 30 minutes, I was like, I don't know what to do, so I was there a total of, like, maybe two hours, I said, I, I don't want to leave, but at the same time, I don't want to leave, I don't, I know that you're here with your cousin, and you're helping him with some stuff, my husband told my cousin that we would stay there till 10 because he was going to take the VIP passes to his cousin wasn't going to be there the next day in town and needed him to take the VIP passes that he had to give it to his um to my cut his my cousin's kids my my battery died like it's hot too and it didn't last very long it lasted one hour and it like died so Hmm. I've charged that up, so I guess it only lasts about an hour. 
So anyway, kittens, um, basically my husband had promised his cousin, not promised, but like, um, told him that he was going to stay late with him so that way he could take the VIP passes and pass them along to like his cousin's partner of the company the next day in his family because his cousin was going to be leaving that night or like early the next morning to go somewhere um, and wasn't going to be in town so he needed Jeremy, he needed my husband to help him out with that to give so that way his, his uh, co or his so that way his uh, partner could enjoy the the um, the carnival if he wanted to. But guys, I was like, I am not happy. I'm not I'm not enjoying this at all. Like, so like my husband, I told him I said I just want to go to the car, the truck. I said I want to go to the truck now because I'm getting too tired. I'm getting too exhausted. So he was like, Well, okay, I'll walk you to the truck. So. I was a little bit mad, I'm not gonna lie, because I was like, so you're gonna like stay here and let me go to the truck, right? I know, I'm being like, I, w I don't know, I was mad at myself, kittens. I was not mad at myself, I was mad at myself, because I was like, I'm not gonna um, ruin his fun just because I can't keep up with him, you know? So I just told him, let me go to the truck. And there was some miscommunication, my husband thought, that I was going to go to the truck, rest, and come back. That was his thought process, you know what I mean? But I ended up getting mad because I was just sitting in the truck. And I was like, he doesn't even like text me or see how I'm doing. And I started calling my mom. And my mom, of course, was like, well, you know, she was like, um, she was telling me to go take the truck to her house. But I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Um... It was probably like 20 minutes away from her house, but, um, I just stayed in the truck and I just, I just sat there looking at my phone, um, on YouTube and stuff like that. And finally my husband like was texting me and was like asking me how I was doing. And I felt bad because I was like mean to him a little bit. I was just like, you know, a little bit snippy with him, like. Wanting him to feel like bad that he was there enjoying himself without me. But he was he was trying to be so nice to me and he was just like, I'll come get you, you know, like we can we can go, we'll we'll leave the we'll leave them and go and get a funnel cake and go and get a corn dog. And I said, Jeremy, that's the reason why I'm like this in this situation, because of these foods. I said <laughs> And he goes, Well, I'll carry you back. No, he goes, I'll bring you back. And I said what, are you going to carry me? I said, come on now. I said, that's how bad I feel. I feel like I'm hurting. Well, it just got really bad. And I was just like, I don't know. I mean, really, kittens, I wanted to go. I wanted to go back. But I just didn't want to hurt. I wanted to go back inside and enjoy myself with him. And then finally, he was just like, I'm not having a good time here without you. He said, I'm not having a good time at all. And that's what I, I kind of like, I'm telling you, I was being mean. I, that's what I wanted him. I wanted him to feel like that. And um, I don't know why I was being like that. It was really not like me. I guess I was just mad at myself. But finally, my husband, like I, I told him, I said, it's pretty sad that you're there. I said, enjoying yourself while your wife sitting in the truck. I said, just, you know, um, in the lonely parking lot in a carnival. I said, that's pretty crazy and um he got he, he just you know he was like i'm coming back now and he did he came, he showed up really fast to the truck he got in tore the armband off i was like why did you do it because when you tear it off that's it you can't use it i said that was 60 dollars down the drain right there and he says yeah i was he said but i'm not gonna you know if you feel bad and stuff like that we're going we're gonna just gonna go and i'm like he goes you're trying to make me feel bad he said and it's working, he said, so we're leaving. He said, I'm sorry I left you in the truck. He said, I shouldn't have done that. And I felt bad, kid. And I was like, oh, it's my, it's me. It's, it's, it's like, it's, I feel like Taylor Swift, you know. I'm the, I'm the problem, it's me. I said, Jeremy, I said, it's me. I said, I'm the problem. I said, it's my fault. I said, it's not your fault. I said, you can keep up with them. You can have fun with them. I said, you're with your family, with your cousins. I said, I said, you know that saying, misery loves company? Well, it's so true. I said, misery is loving company right now. I 
said, I don't, I'm like sulking in here. I said, because my weight is preventing me from, and my back is preventing me from enjoying myself. I said, I don't want to be alone. I said, well, I'm like feeling this way. I said, I feel awful. So guys, it was pretty bad. We ended up going to Jelly's and like splitting something, but it was like, cause he didn't want that the night to end. He was just like, look, I know that the foods are bad, but we haven't eaten anything really. And we didn't eat very much, you know, tonight. So let's go ahead and enjoy ourselves somewhere else. And I was like, okay. So, you know, it was really, I mean, it was just so sad. Now that I think about it and I felt bad, I was embarrassed because his cousin's so good to us and stuff like that. And here I am acting that way and like, you know, just being a brat and, um, but I really wasn't kidding. I really was having problems with my back and I was having such pain. And like I said, it was like, I felt horrible, like just sitting in the truck like that. Like, but my husband really thought I was going to just rest and come back and call him or like text him saying, Hey, will you come get me now? And he didn't realize that I was going to just sit there in the truck for a little and just stay there, you know, and like want to one to not go back. I was just embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. But he's like, I didn't tell him anything. He said, and my husband's good like that. He won't say anything. He said, I said, what'd you tell him? And he goes, nothing. I just said that your back hurts. And now we, you know, we went to the truck, but it's hurting you more than, you know, it's not going away. And so we're just needing to go. I was like, oh. But it ended up okay because his cousin ended up showing up at our, um, at our house with, you know, after the carnival when he left around 10, 10 30, he came, I think it was 11 to bring the, um, VIP passes for his, um, partner the next day. So he ended up dropping them off, but I was like, it made me feel bad because his cousin helps us so much, like monetarily a lot. And we don't ask for nothing. Like he just, he just does it out of the, out of like the, you know, goodness of his own heart, and he's helped us so much, and, like, there's no way we can repay him for everything that he's done, and, um, I just felt like I was being terrible by acting that way, but my husband, like, he said, and I know my husband didn't tell him anything, like, I know why he didn't say, like, yeah, there goes my wife acting like a bee, you know, he doesn't talk like that, you know, there goes my wife acting like, you know, a brat and stuff, he just, he would never say that about me, kids, to especially his family and stuff like that. And, um, um, so I don't know, but just, it was just, um, it was sad. So that's why, again, it's another reason why I gotta lose some weight. I wanna go to Destin, Florida, really bad. But I don't wanna go like this. I don't wanna be this big going to the Destin, Florida. Even kittens, when I was really skinny, I didn't ever wear um, um, bikinis. I, I feel um, like they're underwear and a bra. I would wear, um, I don't mind wearing a tanky. Um, that's just me, though, kittens. That's, I'm not trying to say that, you know, I'm just real, real like, uber modest. And um, when it comes to things like that, so. on working out, you know, at the gym and stuff like that to get my, to get my, um, muscle, to gain more muscle because some people lose lots of weight kids really, really fast and they sag, like their skin sags so bad and I know that's going to happen to me if I don't work out myself, you know, it's going to happen like that and I don't want surgeries for that because they have to have surgery and I'm scared of that. I don't, I've had three surgeries in my life, back, you know, like two back surgeries and a gallbladder surgery. And every time I, I'm always wondering if I'm going to wake up. So, you know, from anesthesia, but kittens, okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the video now, kittens. Thank you for watching. I hope that it, you, uh, you enjoyed this video. If you ever want to send me anything, kittens, it's not an obligation, but if you ever do, just reach out to me on my Instagram, kittens, and I'll give you my address. Okay.